Hey everyone, I'm Alicia from A Music Vlog, yeah, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Louise Burns. Welcome. Thank you. I, we actually just witnessed your set inside of Lee's Palace. As you mentioned on Facebook, you're playing with some sweet babies tonight. Sweet babies, Sweet yeah. babies. So just how <laughs> are you doing and just welcome back to Toronto. Thank you. I'm good. I'm very good. We haven't played here, I haven't played here in over two years, so it feels good to be back. I lived here for a while, so it feels like home. You're here this week for NXNE. Yes. So have you, I know you came in yesterday, as you mentioned, on stage. So have yeah. you checked out the city at all, or just, do you have any plans to do anything in Toronto? I did do a little sweep of Queen Street today. Uh, there's a few of my friends who own vintage stores on Queen, Chosen Vintage. So I went and bought this stage outfit, and uh, I picked up my pass and saw my uncle and my aunt. And yeah, it's been pretty productive so oh, far. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's been two years since the release of your second record, The Midnight Mass. So just yes. how's the new material coming? Because you played a couple on stage, which sounded it's awesome. Good. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. It's been, I'm taking my time with it. I'm sort of trying to figure out the right direction that I want to go in. And uh, I hear that low sound of the engine. <laughs> I mean, go away. And uh, I, I've recorded four songs already, mixing one. and. Um, yeah, it should be ready probably next year. I'm just taking my time with it. I've been really busy, so. How long have you actually been working on the new material for, being that the last record was released two years back? Probably, probably about, seriously, about a year. I think I started writing in July of last year. Yeah. And then Live View had covered the Sundays. You did yeah. Here's Where the Story Ends, which yeah. sounded so lovely. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, and I know on Facebook you asked people, which covers do you want to hear on my next record? Yeah. So which ones are kind of floating around? Which would you like to do? Oh, man. I don't, you know, it's hard. I don't really know. I think I have this rule that if you can't make the original better or different, then just don't bother. And I'm sort of picking ones that I, I know I can't do justice to. <laughs> so... I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to find an obscure old country song or something. All right. Yeah. We'll and I see. also know that you're a big new wave fan. Yeah. And I love new wave music. I've been yeah. seeing a lot and interviewing a lot of new wave artists lately. Oh, great. So yeah. just which out of that genre or era do you enjoy the most? I know you're a big <gasps> Bowie fan. Oh, I love Bowie. <laughs> I think I like the ones who are sort of new romantic. I like the goths. I like, um, I think my favorite would probably be The Cure just because it's sort of a teenage nostalgic thing for me. But, you know, I love, I, I'm not so into the new goth stuff, not too, too much, but I love Zola Jesus. Um, you know, Depeche Mode, um, Eleven Pond, um, I don't know, uh, Talk Talk. I like sort of like that weird prog era of, of New Wave as well, where they're sort of like just figuring out what it is that they're doing. Just on the cusp. Yeah, they're on the cusp <laughs> of like just being between punk and like experimental and ambient and synth. Like Roxy Music Avalon, you know, you're not supposed to like that, but I love that. That's my favorite record. <laughs> well, if you were actually able to collaborate with one artist from that genre, which one would you choose? Oh my God, what a great question. Thank oh, you. Oh, I have no idea. Um, Brian Ferry. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know for Bowie, I just want to go back to that for one second. You tweeted the other day about how you just had the sudden urge to watch Labyrinth. <laughs> yeah, I remember I watching that with my sister when we were younger and you used to freak <laughs> the crap out of us. I know, it was kind of scary. I really, the music to that, that movie is just so funny. It's just so like fretless bass the entire time, and really weird Bowie isms. I don't know. Yeah, I, I haven't watched it yet. It's still on my mind. Okay, I know it was a couple days back, so I'm sure I'll get around to it I'll on get this time. tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just for that film or any film in general, if you could have your music featured in one, which would you like that to be? Oh my! Of all of those like '80s like films? Any film? Any film? Hmm. I don't know. Pretty in Pink? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Or maybe something like a, like a River Phoenix sort of cult movie, like not my own Private Idaho, but like one of his other films. I don't know. There's I'm not thinking properly, but there's some really weird deep ni early 90s films that I think would be great. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and to wrap things up, you're touring for over the next couple of weeks. So for doing those shows, uh, what do you look forward to the most and just kind of plug away for all of our readers at home where we can catch you? Oh, great. Yes. Well, I, I enjoy seeing how the new songs are received live. It kind of gives me a good indication on what direction I'm trying to go to for the next record because I'm still road testing a lot of them. Awesome. Well, everyone be sure that you catch Louise on her tour. I just want to say thank you so much for your time thank today. You. Appreciate we really it. do appreciate Aww, it. Thank you so much. And for everybody at home, you can visit us at www.amusicvlogia.com for exclusive interviews and features with your favorite artists. We will see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>